Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! Kazuki Takahashi. Kazuki Takahashi was born on October the 4th, 1961 and was brought up in Tokyo, Japan. As a child, Takahashi liked to draw but did not start putting manga together until he was in high school. When he was 19, one of Takahashi's manga stories won a contest in a shonen manga magazine. He considered that to be his debut but for the next 10 years he went through several publishers and had a lot of rejected stories. Takahashi worked for a game company but aspired to create a manga. In 1990, he managed to create 100 pages of manga and 200 pages of sketches bring before bringing his first proposal to Weekly Shonen Jump. The editor he met was bothered by the size of his submission but read through all of it and understood that Takahashi wanted to do a battle story. In the end, that manga idea was rejected. His first work was Tokyo no Sumo, published in 1990. One of his earliest works was Tenen Shuko Danji Bure, which lasted for two volumes and was published from 1991 to 1992. Takahashi didn't find success until 1996 when he created Yu-Gi-Oh. Takahashi's popular Yu-Gi-Oh manga started the creation of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards known within the series as Magic and Wizards and later Dune Monsters. However, he never intended to focus his manga on the card game he created. The original format of the manga was set in episodic chapters with a different game being played in each chapter, and the Magic and Wizards card game was originally intended to only appear in two chapters. Shueisha, the publisher of the Weekly Shonen Jump magazine, received so many letters and fan mail ask asking about the Magic and Wizards game that Takahashi Takahashi decided to extend it. Takahashi had promised himself that Yu-Gi-Oh GX would be the last Yu-Gi-Oh series, however he was approached at the end of 2006 with the idea for Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds. The production staff and TV board were long-time associates and friends who had spread Yu-Gi-Oh to many people around the world. So Takahashi agreed under the condition that this would be the last Yu-Gi-Oh series. Despite this, three subsequent series, Yu-Gi-Oh XL, Yu-Gi-Oh Arc 5 and Yu-Gi-Oh Reigns have been made. Takahashi compiled various Yu-Gi-Oh illustrations he drawn into the book Dual Art, which was published on December the 16th, 2011. After Yu-Gi-Oh, Takahashi designed Advent Heroes, a comic and card game, influenced by American comics. In 2018, he wrote a short form manga called The Comic, about a mangaka whose work is magical. It will be published in Weekly Shonen Jump in Japanese and English. The Influences Takahashi Had Takahashi has mentioned a number of things which may have inspired him to become a mangaka. One of them was a kamishi bay he used to enjoy going to when he attended elementary school. During the show, he would wonder if the old man hosting it drew all the pictures himself. Another was an event that occurred in his first year of high school. An unfriendly teacher compared him to a defecate machine in front of the class. His classmates laughed but he definitely stood up and asked if a defecate machine can create comics. Takahashi decided to use Bell as his primary theme, however, there had been so much fighting manga, he found it difficult to come up with something original. He decided to create a manga where the main character doesn't hit anybody, but struggled with that limitation. However, when the word game came to mind, he found it much easier to work with. Takahashi had always been interested in games. He claims to have been obsessed as a kid and still interested in him as an adult. In the games he considered the player to become a hero, he decided to base the Yu-Gi-Oh series around such games and use this idea as the premises. Yu-Gi was a weak childish boy who became a hero when he played games. He admits that it is difficult to come up with many unique monsters. He tries to fit the player's characteristics into the creature he is creating, such as giving Seto Kaiba vicious cards to suit his personality. With friendship being one of the major themes of Yu-Gi-Oh, he based the names of the two major characters, Yugi and Junichi, on the word Yujo, which means friendship, hence the ability to turn into something or someone else. It's something Takahashi believed all children dreamed of. He considered Yugi's Henshin Yami Yugi, a savvy, invincible game player, to be a big appeal to children. The character Seto Kaiba is partly based on an arrogant collective card game player Takahashi had heard of. Before writing the original Shady storyline, Takahashi visited Egypt to gather information. Takahashi was ill at the time of writing the Pharaoh's memory arc. He ended up he ended up in the hospital and struggled to meet deadlines. As a result, he reluctantly cut short P Priest Seto and Kisara's story, which he regrets as it was to explain the relationship between Seto Kaiba and the Blue Eyes White Dragon. He also joked that the design of Zork was due to his grogginess at the time. Sometime during the original run of the pre-trading card manga, Takahashi had his handbag stolen by a thief during a night when he played Pachinko. The thief was never caught and including in his bag were further ideas for stories for the originating manga. He expressed some desire to recall and remember the ideas that were lost since. Takahashi's creation 
Takahashi personally created among other monsters Dark Magician, the Elemental Heroes, Jung Synchron, Stardust Dragon, Red Dragon Archfiend, another of his Hellraiser inspiration besides Jinzo and number 39 Utopia. As expected he also created and hand drew the Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist Yugi Moto, Yami Yugi, Jaden Yuki, Yusei Fudo and Yuma Sukumo as well as several key characters. He also created alternative artworks for some cards like Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Dark Magician, Summon Skull, Jinzo and the Egyptian God Cards. And there you have it. If you guys want more Yu-Gi-Oh content on the channel I want you guys to comment down below and if you want any other different content rather than Yu-Gi-Oh I want you guys to put it right down below in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the video please smash the like button and also make sure to subscribe for more content on Phantom Phoenix.